big tractor power fans. In this video, we're going to spend some time out in a western Kentucky field with a Case IH 470 Rotrack Steiger tractor and Yetter 3541 Rotary Hoe. This implement is a machine that most farmers never want to have to use, but are glad to have one on hand when it's needed. Sometimes in the spring, you can have heavy rains, cold rain, move into the area, and cause the newly planted seed bed to harden and crust over. And that makes it hard for the growing corn plants to come out of the soil. And the Yetter Rotary Hoe helps loosen up that surface and allow the plants to emerge and continue growing to produce that good yield the farmer hopes to harvest in the fall. In this video, we're going to take a close-up look at that 3541 Rotary Hoe in action. We'll climb up in the cab of the 470 Rotrack Steiger tractor and see the operator's perspective of running this implement at almost 14 miles per hour across the field. I hope that you'll enjoy watching the video, and now let's head out to the field and see this big machinery at work. To get a better idea in the role that the rotary harrow plays in the corn raising process on this Western Kentucky farm, we're going to go back to the previous fall when they were preparing the seed bed for the new corn crop. The farm uses an Orthman One Tripper strip till bar. You can see it here working between the rows of harvested corn, digging up a new seed bed on 30 inch spacings, and that's where next year's corn is going to be seeded into the ground. This farm plants its corn from mid-March into early April, and they use a Case IH 2150 16-row corn planter to directly seed into the rows that were tilled up by the Orthman One Tripper the previous October. This direct seeding method works well, and it's also a way to practice controlled traffic farming. That means that the tractors and the combines go over the same places in the field throughout the growing season, reducing compaction and improving the yield that's able to be produced by the corn because its roots are not constricted by multiple passes of machinery in different places over the field. Now let's see why the rotary harrow is needed to help this corn crop grow as an additional step in a cold and wet spring. In farming, weather determines everything, and while the planting conditions were ideal in March with nice 80 degree weather, unfortunately in early April, rain moved in with cold weather and it drizzled onto these fields for several days, leaving cold water on the surface of the field, which caused the ground to crust up, which now is causing the corn to have a hard time to break through that seed bed and to begin growing in a normal manner. Normally, corn pops right out of the row, and when you've had this cold and wet weather sit on the field, you can see here what happens. The corn is trying to push up through the soil, but the very top is crusted over, and it's actually having to work extra hard and use up its energy to push that crusted soil off, and you can see it sitting right on top of the plants. This is where the rotary harrow is put into action just to break up that surface and make it nice and soft again for the corn to grow in a good manner. As we look down the row, you can see how unevenly the corn is emerging. And what will happen is some of the corn will come up normally, some of it will perish under the weight of that crust, and some will never even be able to push up through the surface of the field. And you will really have a spotty result and reduce yield significantly in a condition like this. And that's why the farm keeps a rotary hoe on hand just to be able to work this up quickly. You can see the skies are overcast and that's also hurting the corn. It likes to have sun to grow. And so the farm needs to act quickly and that's where this big tractor and implement come into action to save the crop.
Here we can see the result of the pass from the Yetter 3541 rotary hoe. It's done its job. It's broken up the crust on the surface of the field. We can see that the row of corn now is exposed and it will be able to grow in a normal manner. This is an impressive machine because it's very aggressive in breaking up the hardened soil, but it does not disturb the plants. They're going to be able to grow in a normal manner and not really be impacted from this cold rain. Another advantage of running the rotary hoe in these tough conditions is that it eliminates weed pressures that threaten to choke out the young struggling crop. The rotary hoe kicks the weeds out of the ground leaving the roots exposed to the drying sun and this allows the weeds to perish and the corn to thrive and grow even better. Yetter has been producing a rotary hoe since 1977 and it's well known for its spoonbill wheel teeth. We can take a close-up look here at those teeth. They're spaced at seven inches apart, which is great for working up the ground, allowing residue to pass through freely. We can see there's a lot of corn stalks here because this is a strip-till field, but the rotary hoe is having no problem in working up the ground, knocking out the weeds, saving the crop, and making sure that the residue is thrown right back out on the field. This machine is built on a 7x7 seven seven frame. It's over 40 feet wide, which is perfect for working in the controlled traffic farming that this farm is trying to accomplish, keeping every pass in the field right at 40 feet. In the cab of the 470 engine horsepower Case IH 470 Rotrack tractor. This machine is well adapted to work in row crop conditions, whether that's planting corn, side dressing corn with fertilizer, or using this rotary hoe to walk right down between the 30 inch rows and work up the ground and save the crop without disturbing it. Now a lot of people are going to say this is overkill. The farm is way overpowered running an implement like this. They could use a 160, 180 horsepower row crop tractor and yes they could, but in this case this is the smallest tractor on the farm available for the job. This farm wants to get across this field as quickly as possible. Every second that is wasted means the crop is struggling that much longer to try to emerge. You can see again, it's overcast. They're hoping the sun comes out and also hoping that this gray day doesn't produce more rain. So using a big tractor like this, they can move at almost 14 miles per hour across the field and save the crop in a timely manner.
I hope that you've enjoyed this video and learning a little bit more about the Yetter 3541 Rotary Hoe. It's a pretty impressive machine and well designed to take on the challenge of helping a crop out in tough growing conditions. It's also always exciting to spend time out in the field with a 470 horsepower tractor like this Rotrax Tiger and climb up in the cab to see the operator's perspective of running such a big machine while using computerized methods like GPS auto steer. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you have any questions or thoughts about the video, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you would like a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram, where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching. 